Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new segment in our channel, Study Call with Chief McCoy. In here, we will be discussing different topics, mostly technical, but not exclusively, as I'm planning to expand them further in the future. But these topics, of course, will be related to the maritime profession. I decided to start this segment because over the past two years, I've been getting a lot of technical questions and requests for episodes about technical stuff. I've never gotten around to it back then, but now that I've been trying to expand my content a little bit, I figured now is the best time to start. As most of you know by now, I work on board cargo ships as a chief marine engineer. And for over 20 years, the ship's engine room has been my workplace. So what's inside a ship's engine room anyway? Well, the engine room houses all of the different machinery needed for what we call the marine power plant. Wait, power plant? Well, if you look at the ship in its barest form, it's actually nothing but a huge floating chunk of metal. And the most essential thing that brings the ship to life is electricity. So from the engine room, we can generate electricity which will provide power to the different kinds of machineries which will turn this huge chunk of metal into a functional and useful vessel. And the people who make this magic happen are the marine engineers. So what exactly do marine engineers do? Well, for starters, we are in charge of the ship's engineering department. That is to say, we take care of the operation, maintenance, troubleshooting, and repair of all machinery on board a ship. A typical engine team is composed of the engine officers, namely chief engineer, second engineer, third engineer, and in other ships, they also have a fourth engineer. Some ships might also have an electrotechnical officer or ETO for short. For the support level or engine ratings, we have the fitter, the oilers, or sometimes known as motorman, and the wiper. In some ships, there will also be an engine cadet who is basically an engineer in training. The different kinds of machinery inside the engine room are grouped into systems. The most basic systems are the seawater system, freshwater, compressed air, steam, lubrication system, and the fuel oil system. There are also other auxiliary or specialized smaller systems on board a ship, but we will discuss those in future episodes. Now, each system is designed to perform a specific ancillary function, all of which serve to achieve the main goal, which is to produce power. And that power is used to generate electricity, which is needed for functions such as propulsion, communication, steering, environmental controls, and many other things which require electricity. Like I said earlier, electricity is what brings the ship to life. Without electricity, the ship is practically dead on the water, which is why blackouts while the ship is engaged in maneuvering operations or transiting through heavy traffic or rough seas is one of the most dangerous things that could ever happen. And it's always a good thing to keep your engine room and all of the machinery in tip-top shape. And the only way to do that is to have a highly competent and diligent engine team. Before we end this session, let's rerun a statement I made in a previous video. In my experience, if the captain and the chief engineer have excellent teamwork, good things are bound to happen. The ship can easily resolve any problems the officers and the crew will perform their jobs efficiently and everyone will be happy. The way I see it, the captain runs the ship while the chief engineer 
makes the ship run. Hmm. Let me expand a little bit on that. The captain runs the ship while the chief engineer and his engine team makes the ship run. Class dismissed.